Hello, hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rattle 20 and I am alongside Yorkshire Tea through the magic of the internet. Good evening, people. So, we are now in Hyrule Field. I'm liking it so far. And we are looking to go towards Castle Town, because obviously that's where the story takes us. I mean, couldn't we go somewhere else just to see what happens if we do go in the completely opposite direction? I suppose we could. I mean, there will be jiggies. I'll say, is that statue, is that, is that, is that Scarecrow back there just um, the, the grunty statue from the, uh, from the statue room in Banjo-Kazooie shrunk down? Let's have a look. I think so, yes. Oh, nice. That's very well nice. done, isn't it? So, I've been told, for example, that we actually made a very good decision earlier in the game. I oh, see. God, no. Uh, by choosing to do the tutorial. Oh, oh, I okay. can't hurt it. Oh, there we go. Fine. That was weird. Uh, because apparently, um, you know the tunnel in the water that was beneath us? Yeah. You, do, you, you don't get told about it? <laughs> oh. So it was meant to just... So if you don't do the tutorial, then you're, you'd have no idea that that's even there. Yeah. Hmm. Seems like a slight... And also, like... Like yeah, the tutorial floor. doesn't really show, slow you down, to be fair, though, so it's yeah. not too bad. Like, it didn't feel particularly onerous for us to do it that way. Nah. No, 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 it's... I was still bummed out about um, those, four, those four musical notes. Okay, so there's a 640-note door there. <sighs> Oof, goodness me. For Lake Hylia. I've also I've just realised that the collie wobbles are, re, um, are recoloured to look like pea hats. Yeah, yeah, they are. That's, that's so cool. That's pretty great, isn't it? I mean, they've even got kind of got almost the same texture there as well. Actually, yeah, it kind of almost feels like maybe P hats are basically sort of, you know, the Zelda equivalent of um, sort of, you know, sentient, highly dangerous, oh, possibly God. carnivorous no, uh, sweet corn or something. Or cauliflower. Anyway, there's clearly an evil hand. Oh, evil is that hand. a slapper or is that a grabber? You... I think it's a slapper. <laughs> oh, they make the best noises. Uh, it doesn't look like we can go in here yet. Oh god, there's a ball. I just, just stay far away from it and it can't hurt you. But yeah, it looks like there isn't that much in terms of Places you can go out the way. Yeah. Maybe we can go to Karako. I, I mean, it's not like uh, it's not like the um, the map size in Banjo Kazooie is, you know, huge enough to give modders, you know, a huge deal to play around with. So that's fair. I don't think any it's of the a... I don't think any of the maps in Banjo Kazooie approach anything near the size of Banjo Tooie or even Donkey Kong 64. So yeah. So look, uh... Karako Village is inaccessible right now. Let's go on to Castle Town instead. Can we go to London Ranch though? Though. Because you can always go to London Ranch before. Before. Um... That's oh. true. Let's check that out as well. Hold on. I'm Aha. loving. I'm loving these remixes. I mean, these really. This. This really does feel like you know if Grant Kirkhope had been asked to score a Zelda game. It's. Uh, I'm. I'm legit impressed. Oh, here we go. What did we find? <laughs> oh. Oh, nice! Oh! Ah. Okay! All right. Ah, uh, so oh, damn it, they don't have the uh, half finished texture. Alas, no. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> castle Town. An entire, an entire world devoted to Castle Town and Hero Castle. 
Interesting to see what they have in here. Is there anything else in here? I, I don't think so. Oh, there's a chest. Got an Econ Bokum in it. Yes. Uh, I'm really, 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 I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Mumbo transformations in this. I'm hoping they're yeah, similarly they Zelda themed. <laughs> be like a, I don't know, a Deku Sprout or a... Of course, I had to keep on going because, you know, my Zelda sense told me that there was a life over here. You want to go back and check out Long Ranch first? Yeah, let's That's go and have a quick look just to see if we can actually get in, in there. Oh, ah. no, you clearly can't. Oh, okay. There's a door. So there's a moon on that gate, which impl... Ah, I, I see. I see. So, right. Yeah, so, like presumably, it. you learn the Sun Song and then you can um, change it between day and night. Yeah, that would so make like sense. So it's like a sort of a whole like, fungi forest kind of deal going on. Yeah, fungi forest was meant to be an original Banjo Kazooie level, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And they repurposed it for DK64. Yay! Hmm. We should talk to people. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> No, no, we're gonna, no, you, we're you gonna peck them. their, we're gonna peck their, peck them in the back of the skulls to death. Whoa! What the? How did you know to do that? <laughs> okay, so I have seen a video of this, of uh, this particular jiggy once before, so I did know it was there. And as ever, my swimming skill is about as good uh, as you expect it to be. Preserving that old school banjo experience. Alright, let's have a wander around the back streets, why not? Yeah, there are really many villagers of talking to in this. Ooh. Ooh, hold on, look at this. Aha! Can we get in I suppose if this is mm, I suppose if this is built off Yeah, I can't. Yeah, get if this is built off Banjo Kazooie, then it's gonna be Transforming into something to get in there. Oh, oh, oh! That I saw that. I saw the that pole. That to me looked like a pipe. I want to get all the notes and stuff around here first. That is the Bomchu Cafe. Yes. Let's go to the roof. Ah, uh, I'm loving this. Half castle okay, town, so half Jinjo village. <laughs> Okay, so I can't get up through there, apparently. I can't get on the so roof. It's just, so it's just to let you know that there is something up there. Yeah. Sadly, there is no running across roofs on a talent trot. This isn't any freeze easy peak. Uh, so many years ago, um, well, it's actually one or two years ago, um, somebody did a Team Fortress 2 custom map, which is almost the entirety of Herald minus the uh, dungeons, awesome. um, which is like you know, a, a basically a one-to-one -one recreation taken, ta I think, taken exactly using the files from um, Ocarina of Time 3D, and uh, it's uh, it's it, it's amazing. You can just go anywhere, just you know, run around on top of the Temple of Time. It's, oh, it's great fun. And it's Rupee and Toots. Oh, sorry, Ruby. Well, I'm sure we can manage somehow. If push comes uh, to shove, we'll just, just build, build just peck, peck, peck their heads until they explode. Ooh, what Ooh, do we got wow. here? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I knew there was something I failed to do this Halloween, and that was play through Banjo Kazooie so I could go through Mad Monster Mansion. Mad Monster Mansion, what a great level. I would have booted up Donkey Kong 64 so I could play Creepy Castle, but. Um... But it's the last level, so it takes forever. I know, to get to. I know, I know. Well, it's Mad Monster Mansion, I mean, I can reach in like, what, two hours now? Two or three hours? Yeah, it doesn't take long, does it? 
What is this? Is this the Temple of Time? Yeah. This must be, yeah. Oh, this level is pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, li I'm liking this. I'm liking this. All right, what, what, what can we do in here? All right, can we get these? Yes, we can. I can't beat barge my way into uh, can't the sacred chamber of the no, master sword. No, you can't. And no crooked car, no crooked cartridge tilt to help you out here. Ah, but it looks like we may be able to get up onto the balconies around here, though. Yeah, it looks that like looks to it. me like there's there's definitely something up there. Is that a chest? I bet that's a chest. How on earth do you get up there? I'm gonna check if these are climbable, but I don't think so. Nah, no. it doesn't look like it. Or maybe there's. No. And some of these mm. recreations of uh, some some of these recreations of, uh, of Zelda music. So they've got the Mad Monster Munch and um, organ in this. It's the pretty great, it's, isn't it? It's. I am grinning from ear to ear, which is uh, <laughs> a, a rarity in this in this year. Okay, oh, so more notes. notes, more notes. More notes, more thank you pots. Thank you. Thank you. You need to do, a, in the Mad Monster Mansion, you've got to use all the thank you pots before they do anything, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. But yeah, they don't give you stuff like individually by themselves. Well, shall we go along this way and see what we can see on the way to Hyrule Castle? Yeah. Ooh, hello. I'm sure we're gonna get the friggin' pumpkin or something like that. But if it's gonna it be Zelda like... themed, I'm I can't imagine what it's gonna be. Young Bando, could, clearly. Could it be like um A Deku Scrub maybe? Yeah, it could be yeah, it could be Deku Scrub. Let's go. Did you ever manage to bribe the guard in front of the gates to let you in? No, oh yes, I remember doing that. I remember him opening up the gate once, but then he closes it afterwards, but, as I recall. But what does it... what triggers that? Because I only managed to do that on one playthrough, and I could never get it to trigger again. Like, is it when you first know. enter, or is it, um... You know, is it after a certain point in the game, after you've already gained access? Do you have to talk to them a set number of times? I just could never figure out. I've only managed that once. Ah, whoa, 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 let's go, yeah, let's, let's go and see the Great Fairy. Ah, <laughs> these transformations! Look, as long as it's all contained in one level, I'm fine with it. If it's got that silliness of crossing over multiple levels, then I'll be annoyed. I know that was like a feature in Banjo-Tooie, but I'm, it's not a feature I was very happy with. Mm. No, it did, did lead to more hassle than anything. They're, they're going to throw things at me, but I have a plan. Oh, bottles. Oh, please say this is a talent shop. Please. Ah. Hmm, okay. Uh, learning the Wonder Wing this early in the game. Interesting. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, we can carry 20, though. Nice. I wonder if Cheeto's in this one. I hope he is. Oh my god, multiple congas! <laughs> you keep on throwing things at me, it's um, So... Okay, so we can't somehow... demoralise conga into... giving up just because we... Oh, I see, I see, I think I see. Get close enough to him. I think we, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to get close enough to them and then basically wonder wing the hell out of them. 
Yeah, I think that makes sense. I didn't even know you could do that to Conga. Is that like... I... Hmm, I... What? No? Oh. Uh, oh, maybe not? Okay. Um, or maybe, or do we just have to get past? We just have to get past them, maybe. Is it? Oh, I see, right. Yeah, okay. You've just got to. Easy. We're so good at this game, like, seriously. Pro gaming skills. I am not going to regret saying this, by the way, unless they put an engine room in the game, at which point I will be upset. <laughs> oh, I will be extremely happy. No! I missed that one note. I need to go back. Nothing nothing instills a sense of memorability in a game that as much as being stuck on a particular section for weeks and weeks on end. That's what makes you remember stuff. That's why old yeah, games seem true. so memorable. It's because you had to spend weeks, even months, on a particular spot. That's why it's why certain dungeons and RPGs are so memorable because you had to spend, you know, endless hours grinding in them. For instance, I'm playing through Final Fantasy X at the moment, and I can tell you, I will, I have the tune for Mount Gagazet instilled into my brain now after grinding for what seems like an eternity just to beat Seymour. I have no idea about what you just said because I didn't play. I, I there's a gap in my Final Fantasy knowledge, right? Oh. Uh, so I played uh, 5 and 6, because I like them both. And then I played 7. Uh, God damn it. There we go. And then I haven't played... I've played a bit of 8, I've played a bit of 9, and I've played a bit a bit of 10, but not very much. Ten and then on... there's just basically a blank until FF14 happens, and then I've played uh. the crap out of FF14. So, FF, so FF6 was the first one that I played, and I... Freely admit that I abused the Vanish Doom bug almost for the entire game. Whenever anything remotely hard came up, um, but my the first one, the first uh, Final Fantasy that I actually ser you know played seriously were the 13 games, and in my heart, the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy is still my favourite. Really? I'm I'm I'm, I'm pro probably in a very small minority there, but um, I will forgive I will forgive many 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 issues a game has if the music is great and. The music in the 13 games is truly excellent. So, but um, no, actually, no, I, I've been not, I've, I've I've been on a bit of a bit of a binge with them in recent years. Uh, ten is ten is impressive. Not quite as impressive as I would say maybe nine. Um, eight and fifteen, um, I gave me a, actually a similar sense of. I don't think I don't know. Didn't really feel like the developers knew quite what they were doing. And uh... oh, look, I found a Donkey Kong cartridge. Oh wow! Look, look, look. Oh, it's gone. There it is. I don't know why Castle Courtyard is Donkey Kong themed, but there you go. Do you recognise where this music is from, by the way? No, I don't. This. Wait, hold on. This. Is from the, is from Cloud Tops in the Minish Cap, huh. aka one of the best tracks in the entire series. Oh, this is great! I've never played Minish Cap. Oh, oh Minish Cap is great. It is oh, like let me do the is, Castle Courtyard thing. Oh, it is a per per perfect game for playing on rainy Sunday mornings with a cup of tea, plate of toast. Ooh, secret door. And that door wasn't there in the you original. Think... No, it wasn't. You think we can smash it? We cannot smash it. How about a rat hat tap? Oh, let's try that as well, yes. Nope, mm. nothing. Ha! Okay, yes, yeah, so you can be very proud of yourself. I wonder if I'd do that. No. Presumably, we get, we get past them simply by. I wonder if you need the... You can kill them yeah. with eggs, right? Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. But, you know, I'm using the one wing because I just got the power up, so why not? I wonder why he's using different music for this area rather than a remix of Castle Courtyard. 
Because I very I, I I do enjoy the Castle Courtyard theme. I think it's very funny. Look, there's Rentelda. Ah, uh, okay. But first, uh, is there anything under? No. Is there anything underneath the um the arch where well, Saint Zelda slash Rentelda? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, thought so. Yes. It's a shame that we can't shoot eggs at the window. Oh, actually. Yes! <laughs> they have the portraits in there. Amazing. Ah, actually. Did I just see something in there? I thought I saw a. Yeah. Um... There, there's. Um, you yeah, see I saw a, I, yeah, I saw a honeycomb. Yeah, okay. Uh, how on earth do you get in there? Uh, I bet we're going to have to smash the glass behind Brent Elder. Or. Um... The castle dungeons hide a secret passage. Okay. Well, we should okay. remember that. Hmm, okay. We'll have to okay. sit on the throne as well. <laughs> Bomb is key. 